We're gonna get going here in just about a 30 seconds. Let me get my spiel out of the way. You guys kind of know my spiel, we're donation based. If you're in a position where that is possible, cool. If not, keep showing up and come play with me. It is totally okay. Um, we're just trying to do something so that when we come back, we are as strong as ever. Got my buddy Sarah with me. She just taught a class online. It was an awesome class. You might want to check it out. Loretta's over here with me as usual. Um, she has a lot of great content online. If you want a really nice stretch before you go to sleep, that yin class is an awesome way to end the day or start the day. Okay. So check out our on-demand library. I think it's over 80 classes now. It will be by the end of the weekend. I think it's pretty close now. Um, again, I don't make it hard to get onto my webpage. Click on the on-demand button. You'll see the whole on-demand library start coming up. There's also an archive library underneath the demand library because I didn't want all 80 to show on one page. If you click to the archive, you'll see a full list of some older classes where we didn't quite have the lighting quite down or the microphone quite down and some other classes that have good that as well, but I just didn't want to list them all. All right, that said, let's go ahead and start in child's pose today. Let's take the knees nice and wide, nice wide leg child's pose. I want you to kind of visualize a little bit of a frog type feeling. So really feel the knees going wide. Just breathe for a couple breaths here. Come down onto the forehead. Extend your arms forward. I want you to press in the fingertips and drive your tush back towards your heels. Now pull your belly in tight, and I want you to feel your fingertips, and I want you to, on an inhale, look up just past your fingertips. Now pull your heart forward. Walk your fingertips forward just a little bit more, and then put your head back down. That should feel really nice through the stretch here. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more breaths like this. Good, one more breath like this. So I want you to draw your attention to your left fingers, wiggle your left fingers. I just want you to start just taking the left hand towards the left side of the mat, straight armed until you feel the edge of your mat, and then put your right hand on top of it. There you go. So feel length here. What I want you to do is first feel your left hip socket drive down towards your left heel. And then I want you to take your attention to your right hip socket and draw it down towards the right heel and feel that length all the way through the right side body. Breathe nice and easy here. Good. Let's come back through center. And let's go to the other side. Slide that right hand just off the right edge of the mat. Left hand goes on top of it again. First, draw the right hip down. Reach the right hand a little bit more forward. Now, draw the left hip down and feel length through that left side body's breathe. One more breath here. Fantastic. Let's come back up onto all fours, hands and knees, hands and knees, hands and knees. Exhale that cat, go into a cat, roll the spine up nice and high, check out your tummy. Inhale into a cow, bring that heart forward. Again, exhale cat. Inhale cow. One more time, exhale into a cat. And inhale into a cow. Good. Let's come back to neutral spine. Curl the toes under. Let's just pick those knees just an inch off the mat. Breathe. Cow tilt. I know Loretta hates this one, but it is what it is. We've got to warm up this core. One more breath here. Good. Cat in that bear plank. Cow in that bear plank. She just gave me a look of death. Again, cat. And cow. All right. She'll like this one. Down dog. Let's go down dog, guys. Let the heels come down towards the mat. Pull the belly in tight. Breathe nice and easy here. Walk that dog out a little bit, bending the left and the right and the left and the right. Get some blood into that hip socket, into the knee joints. Let's breathe nice and easy here. Two more breaths. One more breath. All right, let's take that right foot up nice and high to the sky. Reach up nice and high. Push the mat away from you. Pull your belly in tight. Spread the back wide. Set the shoulders into the socket. Step the right foot forward and through. Inhale up into warrior one. Simple opening today, guys. Just drop the back heel down. Square yourself up towards the front wall. Breathe nice and easy here. Big inhale here. Exhale and twist. Left hand forward. Right hand back. Pull yourself into lunge legs. Let's drop that left hand down to the mat. Right hand to the high. Engage your belly away from your thigh. Reach long through the back leg. Drive through the heel. Two breath here. The gaze should be up at that top thumb. Feel the left rib cage rotate through. Draw your right knee towards you. Reach to the back heel. Last big breath. Let's drop that right hand down to the mat. Drop the left knee down to the mat. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. Anjali Asana. Bend the elbows open. The heart up with the head roll back. Find a beautiful back bend here with cactus arms. Breathe. Good. Come back to neutral spine. Hands go to the high. Big inhale here. Exhale the hands down the mat, power up your back leg into a runner's lunge and kick right up into standing split, left foot high. Let the nose come down towards the knee, let that left foot go as high as it wants to go. 
So we're not going for any records right now. We're just trying to get the body to start opening. The standing split could be leg about parallel to the ground. If it starts getting up higher, that's great. But try to keep your hips square. Drop the left foot down next to the right forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Take your feet about a fist width apart, peace fingers, grab your big toes, and just pull your heart down towards your thighs and breathe. Nod the head, yes, shake the head, no. So I want you to let the weight shift into the toes as you bend your knees just a smidge. Bend the knees a little bit. Now really engage the arms, pull. Now, as you straighten the legs, think of the top of your head driving down towards your toes, the hamstrings pressing back towards the back wall. Again, don't go crazy here. We're just trying to warm it up. If the knees need to stay a little bent, please do. One more breath here. And release. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bending into the knees. Inhale up into chair pose. Inhale up into chair pose. Set your shoulders down. Good. Square your hips forward. Let the weight rock into the toes. Let the weight rock into the heels. And just sit down just a touch lower. One more big breath here. Good, forward fold, hands down to the mat. Good, inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, bend the knees, the hop, step, jump back. Let's take a vinyasa to downward facing dog. So if you're jumping back from your forward fold through your vinyasa, make sure when you jump back, you wanna jump back into a little bit of a bend in the elbows. If you can jump right back into chaturanga, that's fine. But if you're jumping back and you're higher than that, make sure the elbows have a little bit of a bend. Left foot goes high to the sky. Reach it up nice and high. Push the mat away from you. Think about your hips and your heart being really square here. Point the toe down and reach to the heel as it tries to drive up and back. Nice, Sarah. Step that left foot forward and through. Back heel spins down, warrior one. Big inhale, hands come up nice and high. We're squared up towards that front wall. Feel that right hip rotate forward. Draw the left hip back, bend into the front knee. Big inhale here. Exhale and twist. Right hand forward, left hand back. Pull yourself into lunge legs. Find it first. Breathe. Now drop the right hand down to the mat, left hand to the high. Engage your belly away from your thigh. Reach long through the back leg, drive through the heel. Now here's a little trick. I want you to engage your right quad as you pick your little bottom up just a touch. There it is. Now, rotate the bottom rib cage through, extend the crown of the head forward. Now think about length from the heel to the crown of the head. Just one more big inhale. Exhale that hand down to the mat. You guys are awesome. Drop that right knee down to the mat. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. Anjali Asana into cactus arms. Bend the elbows, open the heart up, let the head drift back and breathe. Feel the heart opening up. Two more breaths. One more breath, hands back to the high. Good, drop the hands down to the mat, power up that back leg, breathe. So you're strong to the leg, let the weight shift in the left leg, kick up standing split, right foot goes high this time. Again, we're square right now. We're trying to stay pretty linear. So point the toes kind of down and reach the heel up and back just a smidge here. This is, might take some height off of your standing split. There's nothing wrong with that. Drop the right foot down next to the left forward fold. Awesome, inhale, halfway lift and exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale the hands up high to the sky this time and then sit down into chair. So now we're gonna wake up our twisting muscles. Let's let the hands come into prayer. Prayer twist, left elbow, right knee, left elbow, right knee. So draw the thumbs towards heart center. Spread the back wide, breathe nice and easy here. So what I want you to do is think about your left hand coming to your heart and your right hand going to the high. Left hand to the heart, right hand to the high. Sarah's got it going on, so does Loretta. Take another breath, big inhale here, and then on the exhale, drop that right hand behind the back, taking half line, right hand behind the back. Keep the left hand where it is. Feel the rotation through. Just one more breath, guys. Exhale, hands down to the mat. That's a way to wake up those twisting muscles. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Let's sit down into chair again, Ukatasan. Hands come back into prayer. Prayer twist, right elbow, left knee, right elbow, left knee. So we're gonna take two breaths here. We got one more breath here. When you're ready, left hand to the high, right hand to your heart. Feel that right elbow draw you through. Let's take two breaths here. Big inhale, on the exhale, take the top hand behind the back. Keep the right hand on your heart. Feel the rotation through. We got plenty of time to play with arm variations later. I just wanna wake up these twisting muscles. Forward fold, hands down to the mat. You guys are good. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Good, plant the hands, bend the knees, hop, step, jump back. Let's take a vinyasa high to low, push up. Upward facing dog. And let's roll back to a downward facing dog. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breath. Good, one more breath here. All right, right foot goes high to the sky, reach up nice and high, knee to the nose, round your spine, and extend it back. Again, let's go knee to the nose, round the spine and extend it back. Good, step that right foot forward and through, inhale up into high lunge. 
So set the shoulders down. So the reason when you do those jump backs through the vinyasa, so if I'm on a peg leg, if I lock this leg out, if I jumped up on this leg and tried to land on a straight, that does not feel good. If I have a little bend, that's much better. So don't jump back and locked out joints. Good, hands come into prayer. All right, so once we do this, I want you to think about it. Once I start to move, I'm not stopping till I get to warrior three, not after it, not before it. Let the weight shift, find warrior three. Strong to the back leg, drive to the heel. Loretta and I are about to kiss heads here. Breathe. Two more breaths. Sorry about the social distancing. One more breath. Good. Step back, warrior two, opening up towards the side wall. Inhale the hands up high to the sky, straighten your right leg. Exhale, warrior two, back wall. Let's straighten the left leg. Shorten your stance if you need to. Cock your pelvis, reach and tilt, finding trikonasana, triangle pose. Breathe. So the key here, and Loretta's got a great example of it, she's got a lower side body completely straight and long. She's gonna close her ribs just a touch and engage the belly, perfect posture. Sarah's right there too. So you don't even see any part of Sarah's head because she has one straight line from the tailbone to the crown of the head, the gaze is up at the top thumb. You just got one more breath here. All right, on the next inhale, bend the knee, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. It's a short reverse warrior. Big inhale, exhale right back into that triangle, right back to it, breathe. So we're gonna play with something similar to what we did before in chair, but we're gonna start with the top hand. You're, that's your right hand down behind the back to start. Relax here, breathe. You could stop here. Sarah's got the hand to the inside of the groin, so does Loretta. Good, close your ribs, belly button, left hand to the heart if you can. Now think about your left elbow and point it at your left big toe. Point the left elbow towards the left big toe. It's gonna to make your heart square a little bit more. Breathe, one more breath. Good, warrior two. Find that warrior two. You might need to lengthen. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's carve with the hands down, stepping back into Vashistasana. Right hand to the mat, left hand to the sky. Open up towards the side wall, breathe. Leg variations are always welcome. So Sarah went straight to leg up high. Loretta's got the feet stacked. Breathe. One more big inhale here. Exhale that hand down to the mat. Let's take a vinyasa to downward facing dog. High to low push up, upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, flip the palm. Of, I'm sorry, right foot high to the sky. Right foot. Knee to the nose, round your spine and extend it back. And again and extend it back. Good, step that right foot forward and through, inhale up into warrior one this time. Warrior one, warrior one, warrior one. You're facing the back of your mat. Good, warrior two, front wall. All right, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. This is where my brain was earlier, extended side angle. So again, we're still gonna be playing with a similar variation that we've played with twice already. So first thing I want you to do is slide your left elbow inside of your left knee and take your left hand to your heart. Then take the right hand behind the back. Breathe. We're going to be good and warm when we take full binds in a little while, guys. Feel the rotation through. Two more breath. One more breath. Good. Warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Cartwheel the hands down, stepping back. Take a vinyasa to down dog. Straight through a vinyasa to down dog. Two big breath here. All right, if you ever feel like you're getting just a little overwhelmed, cut out the vinyasa. Just take the hands down and go straight back to down dog. Or you could do what Loretta and I do. Sometimes we drop one knee down to the mat. It takes a little weight off of that vinyasa, and this makes it a little bit easier. If you want to ramp it up, you can always ramp it up. Left foot high to the sky. Knee to the nose, round your spine, and extend it back. And again, and extend it back. Good. Step the left foot forward and through. Inhale up, high lunge. Strong through the back leg, drive through the heel. So again, hands come into prayer. Once we start moving, we're not gonna stop till we get to warrior three, not before or after. Let the weight shift into this left leg, cast your right leg off, I'm there now, breathe. Now clean it up, rotate the right hip down, draw into the left hip socket, bring your chin towards your chest till your neck is neutral, two more breath. Good, one more breath. Good, step back, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior, and warrior two. Let's straighten the left leg, hands go to the high, exhale, warrior two, back of the mat. Let's flip the right palm, reverse the warrior, and warrior two. Straighten your right leg, shorten your stance if you need to. Reach cock and tilt right into trikonasana, triangle pose. Breathe. Stack the arms straight up and down. So 
the rib cage, Sarah, puff your ribs out a little bit. So she just went really, so she's collapsing your shoulder blades. Now close the ribs. Perfect. Two more breaths like this. Create length equal through the lower side body and the upper side body. Good. Bend the knee, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Big inhale. Exhale right back into that triangle. Right back to it. Right back to it. Right back to it. Breathe. So again, let's drop that top hand behind the back. Maybe you find your hand all the way to the inside of the right groin. Rotate the shoulder back. This could be it. Bottom hand can come to the heart. Now, think about that elbow and point it at your right big toe. Take that elbow forward. There it is. Now rotate open and look towards the top shoulder if you can. Breathe. Good, warrior two. Fantastic. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's cart with the hands down, stepping back, Vashi Stas, and a left hand of the mat, right hand of the high. Open it up. Again, play with your variation. So at this studio and in general, you know there's lots of places for you to explore your limits. Sometimes your limit is throttling down. Sometimes your limit is throttling up. Release that hand down on the mat. Let's take a vinyasa to downward facing dog. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, let's try it again. Left foot high to the sky. Left foot, left foot, left foot. Good. Step the left foot forward in three. Inhale up, warrior one. Big inhale. Hands come up nice and high. Good. Let's go warrior two. Front wall. Swivel turn. Bend into your right leg. Flip the palm. Reverse the warrior. Good. Extended side angle. All right. Let's slide that right elbow inside of the right knee. Good. Let's. Take the hand of the heart. Drop the top hand behind the back. Take that bind. Again, maybe you find the inside of the thigh. Maybe you don't. Both these gals got it perfect. They rotated the shoulder through. Their hands are all the way to the inside. Now, think about your rib cage. Ladies, right at your bra line. Close the bra line like you're trying not to feel that bra line. Guys, I got nothing for you. Pull your ribs together. Breathe. One more breath here. Good. Warrior two. Fantastic. Flip the palm. Reverse the warrior. Let's cart with the hands down, set the foot back. Let's take a vinyasa high to low push up, upward facing dog. And let's roll on back to a downward facing dog. Really good work, everyone. All right, let's bend the knees looking forward, hopper step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky. Good, grab that left wrist with the right hand and just let's pull ourselves into a nice crescent shape here. So I want you to push the left hip really far, and then I want you thinking about lengthening the right side body. The gaze is up underneath that left armpit. Now, release the right hand and take it all the way behind the back and try to find your left hip. Breathe. And let's come back up through center, switch the grip of the hands, and let's pull ourselves the other way, breathe. Again, create length through both side bodies. Go ahead and drop the left hand down behind the back. Find that right hip. Keep reaching the right hand up over the head. Look up underneath that armpit. Breathe. Good. Come back up through center. Hands go to the high. Sit right down into chair. Good. Big inhale here. Exhale and twist. Left hand forward, right hand back. Shine your heart towards the sidewall. Keep your hips square. Inhale the hands high. Sit down just a smidge more. Exhale and twist the other way. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, forward fold, hands down to the mat. Good, inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Again, plant the hands, bend the knees, hop, step, jump back through a vinyasa to down dog. Again, jumping back to at least a little bit of a bend in those elbows. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, let's go right foot up high to the sky. Reach up nice and high. Point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. Breathe. So I want you to think about your left heel driving down towards the mat and your right knee pointing up towards the sky. Now think about the big toe of that right foot going towards the front left corner of the mat or room. Breathe. Keep everything where it is. Just straighten your right leg and point your toe and reach, 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 reach. Bend it, rotate it open some more. Again, straighten it again. Reach, 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 reach. Good. Step that foot forward and through right into warrior two. Right into warrior two. Open up those hips towards the side wall and breathe. All right. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Extended side angle. 
All right, this time, let's drop the right hand down inside the right angle, left hand to the high, left hand to the high, and then drop the left hand down behind the back, half bind. If you have that full bind here, you should be good and warmed up for full bind. If you wanna go back to that modified half bind, three quarter bind, you may absolutely take either of those. Now, I want you to relax that, that's your left shoulder. Set it down, roll it back and down just a little bit and relax that shoulder, breathe. Two more breath here. One more breath here. Fantastic, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Strain your right leg, turn your toes towards the sidewall. Inhale the hands way up high to the sky. Wide leg forward, fold all the way down. So lots of choices here. If you're an inverter and you're safe and you've set up your space, invert. If you're not inverting, just let the crown of the head come down towards the mat. So Loretta's got awesome rotation. The crown of her head is basically kissing the mat. She's kind of set up for that tripod, but she's great where she's at. Breathe. Sarah went right up with extended arms back. Breathe. Wherever you're at, maybe you're set up in a traditional tripod stance. Two more breath here. One more breath here. Good, headstanders make your way down. We meet down in a forward fold. Fantastic, breathe. All right, inhale, halfway lift, hands to your hips. So the whole torso is parallel to the ground. Bring your chin towards your chest to your neck is neutral. From your core, push yourself up to a standing position. Good, warrior two, front wall. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two, skandasana, left hip socket, drop down nice and low. Good, warrior two. Again, skandasana, drop down the left hip socket. Good, let's go to the right hip socket, skandasana. As you go back to the left hip socket, let's take that uh, left hand, I'm sorry, right hand down, left hand high, find a twist. Go back to the other side, drop the left hand down, right hand high, find that twist on the other side. Good, come back to warrior two, facing the front wall, right knee is bent. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let's carve with the hands down, step the foot back, let's take a vinyasa. High to low, push up, upward facing dog, and let's roll back downward facing dog. Breathe. All right, left foot goes high to the sky, reach up nice and high. Point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. So the hips open, don't worry about that top left leg for a second. Think about your right heel driving down. Now, take your attention to your left big toe, like you're trying to reach it forward and down towards the front right corner of the mat or of the room. Now straighten that left leg, just straighten it. You're gonna feel a great stretch. Bend the knee, rotate open again. Again, straighten, and maybe you're pointing a little bit more towards the right side of the room. Bend the knee, rotate open again. Yeah, let's step that left foot forward and through right into warrior two. Right into warrior two. All right, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And let's go extended side angle. Left elbow down to the knee, right hand up over the head, breathe. Drop the left hand down inside the left ankle. Feel the back of the, the side of the knee into the back of the arm, drop the right hand behind the back. Again, you could go modified half bind, left hand of the heart. You could go full bind, you could go three quarter bind. Choice is yours. So this top shoulder, I want it relaxed back and down just a touch. That's perfect where it is. Breathe. So if you're in that full bind, you almost want to feel like you're pulling your left hip through as the reach of the back leg draws the top hip back. Now think about core, ribs, belly button. Just two more breath. One more breath. Good, warrior two. Fantastic. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Straighten your left leg, turn your toes towards the sidewall. Inhale the hands up high to the sky, all the way down. So again, if you have a safe space to do an inversion, I love an inversion. A lot of you love inversions, take it. If that's not your thing today, don't worry about it, breathe. Loretta's got all of the benefits of a headstand because she's in such a great rotation. For her, I might even tell her, take your feet a little bit closer together. Now rotate through even more. Now she's even in a better forward fold. She's almost pulling her heart all the way through her thighs in this beautiful forward fold. Sarah this time has palms up, back of the hands down, extended arms, beautiful inversion. 
Last breath here. If you're in that inversion, start making your way down. We meet down in a forward fold. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Good. So let's cue this a little bit better this time. So we're here, look up towards the mirror. What I want you to do is bend the right leg and take the left hand down, right hand high. And then let's go back the other way. One more time to the back of the mat, left hand down, right hand high. One more time back to the front of the mat. Good, come back to the center, hands to your hips. From your core, push yourself up. Good, warrior two front wall. Good, skandhasana right hip socket. Skandhasana left hip socket. One more time to the back of the mat. Good, warrior two front of the mat. Left leg is bent. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Carve with the hands down, set the foot back, let's take a vinyasa. Breathe. Two big breath here. One more breath here. All right, bending the knees, looking forward, hop or step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the hands up high to the sky, and hands come down into prayer. Breathe. Okay, two big breath here. We're gonna play with some balance pose. But right, if you wanna turn and face the front for this one, we can, we'll all do it together. So we're gonna take tree. Weight's gonna go into this right foot, left foot. So again, you could just be here up on your toe. Maybe you draw to the ankle, maybe you're a calfer. If you wanna join us above the knee, join us above the knee, hands to the high. Good, left hand down behind the back, right hand up and over, a little stretch. I'm sorry, right hand behind the back, left hand up and over, I'm sorry. Good, let's go the other way. Left hand down, right hand up and over. Uh-huh, come back to center. Draw the knee forward, hands come into prayer. Let's grab the ankle, left, right hands high. So before we do anything, I want us to bend our knee a little bit. Then I wanna kick, and then I wanna start to tilt. Drive it up and back, breathe. Even I can get my foot almost over my head, breathe. Hold it here for three for two, for one, and release. Good, shake them out. All right, let's try the other side. So when you're ready, wait into this left foot, right foot. Again, if you're joining us above the knee, then join us above the knee, not on the knee. Hands high. All right, let's see if I can cue this right. Left hand down, right hand up and over, little breathe. And back through center. Right hand behind, left hand over, breathe. You're gonna have to use your core here, guys. Back to center. Hands come into prayer, bring the knee forward, snatch the ankle, stand up tall. Bend your left knee just a little bit, kick. Now tilt, drive it up, drive it up, hold it here. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one, and release. Awesome, top of your mat, guys. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. Forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands, bend the knees, hop, step, jump back. Let's take a vinyasa. Two big breath here. So at any time, if you need a sip of water, you need a child's pose, whatever you need, take it. All right, so this next flow is gonna be inspired by my buddy Dave. Right foot high to the sky. Good, right knee, right tricep. Good, take it over to the left tricep. Take it back to a down dog split. Step the right foot forward and through high lunge. So we're here, breathe. So left hand's gonna stay high, right hand's down. Good. As you let the weight shift on the right leg, pick the left knee up, right leg high, feel it. Good, and then right back to where we just were. All right, so we're not coming back to this from the next time we go up. So just listen, play along, ready? And right hand up, left knee up. Good, as you come down, I want you to kick the left foot back, find warrior three with the right hand forward. Take both hands forward. Step back into warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. And warrior two. Weight shifts in this right leg, let the weight teeter half moon, right into a half moon on that right side. Hold it here. Wiggle your left fingers, 
Left hand swinging forward and down, right hand swinging back. Good, as you draw the left knee up, take the right hand high. Now we're gonna finish where we started. Step back, high lunge. Fantastic guys, high lunge, high lunge, high lunge. Big inhale here. Exhale the hands down the mat, step the foot back, let's take a vinyasa. So if you got a little lost that first time, no worries. It's a complex flow. We're playing with oppositional arms. Just play long as best you can. All right, left foot high to the sky. Left knee, left tricep. Over to the right tricep. Down dog split. Step the left foot forward and through, inhale up, high lunge. Left foot forward this time, breathe. Good, left hand down, right hand high. Good, and then let's switch the arms, pull the right knee up. Use your core, and then step back, high lunge. So again, and pull. So this hand's staying high, this left hand. This right hand's reaching back with the right leg. Find warrior three oppositional arms. Breathe. Step back, warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior, and warrior two. Half moon. Let the weight shift and breathe. Once we find this half moon, we're gonna hold her for three breaths. Start thinking about your right hand, wiggle your right fingers. Right hand's gonna swing forward and down, left hand's gonna swing back. As you pick that right knee up, left hand high, right knee goes high. Good, step back, high lunge. Big inhale here, exhale the hands down the mat, step the foot back, let's take a vinyasa. So think about that last flow that you just did with us. Did you do better when you didn't know what was coming? Or did you do better when you knew what was coming? So sometimes it's much easier to do it when you're not sure. You just listen and do it. Sometimes it's easier when it's familiar. All right, bending the knees, looking forward, hopper, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. All right, inhale the hands up high to the sky. Let's sit down in the chair. Hands come into prayer. Prayer twist, right elbow, left knee. So your twist should be nice and warm now. Inhale, split the arms straight up and down. Exhale the hands into prayer and just sit down just a touch more. I don't care if it's a millimeter. Again, inhale, split the arms straight up and down. If you wanna drop into side curl, release the hands down to your left side and take side curl. If side curl is not your thing, don't worry about it. Legs could stay together, they could be split. Forward, forward, hands down to the mat. Good, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward, fold. Inhale the hands up high to the sky. Sit down into chair. Hands come back into prayer, left elbow, right knee. So first you find what you think is your maximum twist. Good, inhale, split the arms. You just twisted more. You might not even known it, but you just did, I promise you. Good, exhale, hands into prayer. Again, inhale, split. You just twisted even more. If you wanna drop your hands down to that left side and take that side, that right side and take side curl, take, oh, is that why I was off? That is the other side. And forward fold, hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Heel toe your feet out nice and wide, sink in the yogic squat. Okay. So Sarah's got a beautiful crow. So does Loretta, but you can't see a bit of her because she's hidden behind my fat tush. All right, so what I wanted you to do is if you're new to crow, I want you to bring your feet together and make a V. Now, here's what I want. Elbows here. As these hands come down, I just want you to think about my tush goes a little bit up. I feel the weight into my hands. My heart comes forward till these toes are really light and they just float up off the mat. Give it a try. Good. Rock back, relax for a second, breathe. So all that's trying to get you to do is feel the weight come forward. So this is my torso, my head, my chest. As it comes forward, the tush is going to come up and we're going to teeter into it. Okay? If you did that one pretty well, take the tush even higher. Start with the hands on the ground this time. Knees way up high towards the armpits. Sarah's got a beautiful setup. Breathe. Take it. Loretta's is perfect. They both are extending their tushes up. Explode the spine longer. Feel lift. 
If you can jump back, jump back. Nice, nice, nice. Maybe a step back. It's all good. Breathe nice and easy here. Two big breaths. Good, one more breath. All right, let's go right foot up high to the sky. Point the toe, roll the hip open and bend the knee. Feel the hips square towards the side wall. Go ahead and flip that dog. If you're flipping that dog, drop the right foot down, pick the right hand up, breathe nice and easy here. Let the head roll back. Find rotation through. Let's come back to a down dog split. Step the right foot forward and through, right into high lunge. Strong through the back leg, drive through the heel, set the shoulders down, breathe nice and easy here. So I want to think about controlling ourselves into half moon. So hands are high. Now I'm going to use my arms and my control of my right hip socket to let the weight shift. I split the arms and go right into half moon. Breathe. Can I go half bind, left hand behind the back? Sarah's there with me. Right hand to the heart. Sarah's still with me. Breathe. Rhoda's got it too, but you can't see her behind me. One more breath. Good. Step back, warrior two. Good. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Cartwheel the hands down both sides of that right foot. Drop the left knee down to the mat. Straighten that left, that right leg. Half or full split. So don't feel that full split or nothing. A half split done proper is so much better than a full split not done properly. So Sarah's got one side much more cooperative than the other. She uses this block to be perfect. It's awesome. Once she felt better, she goes, okay, I'm gonna go a little deeper. Loretta's got a beautiful split here. She's relaxed. Her shoulders are relaxed. That means her pelvis is relaxed. Everything's coming down. Breathe. Last two breaths. Last one breath. All right, let's bend into the front knee. Power up your back leg. Send your right foot back to a down dog split. Straight back down dog split. Step the right foot to the outside of the right wrist, right into lizard pose. Forearms down. Breathe. So again, don't be afraid to let this back knee come down. So if you remember at the beginning of the practice, when we started in that child's pose, I said, I wanted you to look just past your fingertips and pull your heart forward. Do that. Breathe. If you're working into a variation here, a kundiana, a compass, a lizard split, a bind, you may take any variation that feels good to your body. So Sarah's going into a back bend. Loretta went into the airplane arms. Breathe. Good. And she found the bind there too. And when you're ready, press in the forearm, send the right foot back to meet the left forearm plank. Breathe nice and easy here. So again, I want you to think about your bottom. I want you to bring your bottom up just to like a half inch, just a little bit. Too high, Laura, just down, just there it is. Now. I want you to look past your fingertips. I want you to bring your heart forward, but I don't want the touch to drop. Pull the belly in, close your ribs for four, for three, for two, for one, tiptoe forward into dolphin. If you want to take a foot up high to the sky, take a foot up high to the sky. If you want to kick up into pinching my rasana, kick on up and find pinching my rasana. So again, safe at home if you're doing this. So as you take that leg up, feel the back go wide, press into the arms and breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. Once you knew I was there, she rocked it. Child's pose. So all of these advanced postures have a lot to do with confidence. Sarah had it. The second she knew I was close by, where if she had a problem, I was there, she completely locked everything in and didn't need me at all. So be your own support. Have confidence in going into your postures. All right, let's come back in to uh, hands and knees. Good. Curl our toes under, push up and back, downward facing dog. Left foot goes high to the sky. Point the toe, roll the hip open, bend the knee. If you're flipping that dog, flip it on over, drop it down, let the head roll back and breathe. So maybe you find full wheel. Maybe you just find a nice flip dog. It's okay. Come back to a down dog split. Step the left foot forward and through high lunge. Strong through the back leg, drive through the heel. So we're playing with that same thing. I'm going to go a little bit on this side this time so you can see Loretta. All right, so we're using the arms and then the movement to find it. Weight shifts into this front leg, split the arms, rotate right into half moon. 
Once you find it, look to the side one, drop the top hand behind the back, draw your bottom hand to your heart, breathe. Hold it here for three, for two, for one, step back, warrior two. Fantastic, flip the palms, reverse the warrior. Carve with the hands down both sides of that left foot, drop the right knee down to the mat, strain your left leg, half or full split. So again, you don't have to be in a hurry to get there. Maybe using a block to feel it is there. This side maybe is not as cooperative. Maybe you stay in a half split on this side. Nothing wrong with that. Your left side and your right side might be like your kids. One might be way more cooperative than the other. My daughter's more cooperative. I only have daughters. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more breath. One more breath. All right, let's bend in that front knee. Power up the back leg, send the left foot back down dog, split. Step the left foot to the outside of the left wrist, right into the lizard on that left side. Forearms down, breathe. We're getting close to the floor for good guys. You guys are in a great groove right now. The sweat should be flowing pretty good. The body should feel good. If you're working into variation here, take it. So again, maybe it's that beautiful back bend Sarah just went into. Loretta's got the arms out nice and wide, left shoulder under left knee. She's working towards the bind, she rocked it. Uh, Sarah went into Kundiana with an asymmetrical arm placement. Good, we all meet back in, in forearm plank when we're ready. Breathe, 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 breathe. All right, I want you to inhale and take your right hip and tap the right side of your mat from forearm plank and then back to center, and then left, and center, and right, and center, and left, and center. Let's pick it up right, and left, and one more right, and one more left. Good, come back to the center, breathe. Bring your heart forward and let your pelvis sink all the way down to the mat. Release your toes back. I want you to feel from your fingertips to your elbows, and I want you to pull your heart forward. And I want you to think just above her bum, I want to think about length, 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 length. This is one of the best traction moves you can do. So again, shoulders into the socket, heart forward. Again, feel traction, lower back, breathe, 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 breathe. And release all the way down to the mat. Fantastic. Release the arm straight back towards the back wall. Breathe nice and easy here. Two more breaths. Last big breath here, big, big inhale, big exhale, there it was. All right, let's inhale up into Shalomvasana, everything comes up. Get it up, 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 breathe. So if you can, I want you to bend your left leg and grab with the right hand and bring your left hand forward, breathe. Hold this for a breath. Maybe you just stayed in, in Shalambhasana. Good, take your left hand back, grab it with both hands. Hold here if you can for a breath. Exhale the right hand forward, keep the left hand where it is. Breathe, hold here for a breath. And then release down. Good. So Sarah played along with all the different arm variations. Loretta stayed in this beautiful Shalambhasana playing with where the hand placement was to get it deeper and deeper and deeper. Again, modify to you. All right, let's try it again. Inhale up, Shalambhasana. So again, maybe you're just here. This is great. If you can bend that right leg and grab with the left hand, bring the right hand forward, that's fine. Loretta interlock the palms and reach the knuckles back. She might just stay here. Good, Sarah's gonna take the right hand back. She's gonna find it with both hands. She's gonna take a full breath here. On the next exhale, she's gonna take the left hand forward and breathe. Should feel good. And release down, turn your cheek to the mat. So here's the key with a variation. If it makes you feel terrible, it is not a good variation to be in. All right, bend both knees, grab both ankles. Drive the toes up and back. Let's find Dani Rasana, floor bow. Kick, 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 kick. Holding it here for four, for three, for two, for one. Release down, turn your cheek to the mat. Waggle the toes left and right, whatever you need to do to make your body feel good. Maybe windshield wiper those legs. Loretta's in like a reverse um, 
Supta Baddha Konasana, bug pose, whatever you want to call it. All right, bend the knees, grab the ankles again. Kick them up, kick them up, kick them up. Hold, 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 hold. Now, take the right toe an inch higher than the left. Now match the left to it. Now take both of them up an inch, a half inch together for three, for two, for one, release down. Fantastic work, breathe. All right, let's come back onto our hands and our knees. All right, let's go right hand below the face, left hand to the sky. And let's just thread the needle. Shoot the left arm down and through. So your right hand starts up over the head, palm facing down. Breathe. So from here, what I want you to do is I want you to swing the right knee towards the side wall. Knees still bend. Then extend it straight back. Uh -huh. Breathe. Now, your right toe and your left thumb have crushes on each other. Let them meet. If you want to take the right hand behind the back, take it behind the back. If you want to keep it up over the head, keep it up over the head. Breathe. Two more breath. One more breath. Unwind. Come back onto all fours. Good. Let's exhale into a cat. Inhale into a cow. And exhale into a cat. And inhale into a cow. All right. Left hand down. Right hand high. Shoot the right arm down and through. Left arm goes up over the head. So we're going to relax here. Breathe. So the knees are bent and they're right next to each other. All I want you to do is swing your left knee towards the side while the leg's still bent. Once it's up, then extend it straight back. It's like an upside down extended side angle. All right, your left toe and your right thumb love each other. Take them together. Good, now take the arm variation you want. Maybe you rotate open like Sarah did. Maybe you just keep that arm up over the head like Loretta. She's actually using the mat to give her a little bit better rotation, it's beautiful. If this hurts the neck, be careful in where you look with the neck. Neutralize your neck a little bit. Unwind, coming back onto all fours. Fantastic. All right, let's come onto our bottoms and both feet forward. Time flies by with you guys. Both feet forward, remove the flesh from the sits bones, sitting up nice and tall, breathe. So I want you to have the hands by the sides, all right? Press into your fingers or your palms. So I have short arms, I'd be up on fingertips. If you can get the palms down, that's fine. I want you to think about your right leg, reach through your right heel and pick your whole right leg up. Good and put it down. Did you have to rock back a lot? If you did, your core needs to be more engaged. Left leg, pick the whole left leg up, breathe. Good, put it down. All right, again, both legs. Maybe you're pressing down, Sarah's gonna come all the way up, breathe. And down, good. Pashimottanasana, forward fold towards those toes. Breathe. Hip flexors can scream sometimes. So if you do a lot of other things, like a lot of us, we run, Sarah and I run quite a bit. Um, Loretta and I bike quite a bit. Um, those are gonna affect how you practice. So understand that when you're in it. So I worked with someone training for a marathon and I'm distracting you because we got about another 20 seconds of this posture. And the goal was not to release her hips and her hamstrings completely because that would have hurt her run. It was to give them a little more mobility without releasing them completely, because then she would still have her power. Last breath, guys. And let's come up. All right, right foot comes in the groin, left foot is long. Forward fold toward your left foot. Johnny Shirshasana, breathe. I want you to take your right hand and I want you to grab the outside of the left foot. I want you to take your left hand up high to the sky and rotate towards the left side wall and then drop the left hand behind the back and rotate the shoulder through as the spine goes long. Breathe. This should feel really nice. Now, I want you to think about your left hand going to the inside of that left foot. Pull the elbows away from each other and square back to Johnny Shirshasana. There it is. Breathe. And let's come up. All right, extend the right foot forward, left foot groin. So what we're trying to do with that is I'm trying, Sarah, go into it for a second. So when she grabs here, what are we doing? I'm lengthening a spine that I'm twisting at the same time, okay? So forward fold till Johnny Shirshasana first. Take the left hand to the outside of the right foot. As you peel the right hand back, lengthen the spine and rotate through, create length. There it is, breathe. It should feel really nice. Drop the hand behind the back. Now rotate the shoulder back even more. Breathe. Think about bottom rib cage through. Take the right hand to the inside of that right foot. Elbows go away from each other. Relax into your Johnny Shirshastana. Breathe. All 
and let's come up wide leg straddle guys let the legs go as wide as they can breathe nice and easy here walk the hands forward now and finding a wide leg straddle just breathe so both of them have these beautiful wide leg forward folds So if your arms are straight out, I want you to get your head up just a little bit, look past your fingertips and pull your rib cage forward. Again, like we did at the beginning, walk the fingertips forward just a touch more, then let the chin and the forehead come back down towards the mat and create more length here. If you know your limit, Loretta knows exactly where she should be. She's in a beautiful, perfect posture here. Both of them are parallel to the ground. Both of them hearts are about the same thing. Different arm variations, what feels good for them. Last breath. Let's come back up. Drop your right elbow inside of your right knee, left hand up over the head. Breathe here. So Loretta gets all the way to the foot with ease. Sarah's about a foot away from the foot. Both of them are perfect. I want both of them to take their right hand across their bodies and grab their left hip and pull themselves through just a touch more. This is getting close to floor compass. Breathe. All right, come back up through center. Good, drop the left arm down, right hand up over the head. Find your variation that feels good first. Then when you wanna go deeper, left hand grabs the right hip and pull yourself through. Again, Loretta easily gets to the foot. Sarah's not at the foot, but they're both in really great twists for them. They're where they should be. Hearts are open, one more breath. And let's come back up. Good. Supta Baddha Konasana. Slow the feet together. Knees out wide. Sit up tall. Breathe nice and easy here. All right. Walk your hands forward and try to pull your heart down towards you. So if you really can't flex forward much and your knees are coming up, what I want you to do is release the arms forward and take your feet forward about two inches. So Sarah, take your hands forward and take your feet forward about two inches. Now let the knees go out wider. Walk your hands forward and try to put your heart down. You feel the difference? Now she's getting there. So... They both like the variation. Loretta's got hands at not some at Namaste, hands behind the head. And Sarah's grabbing her feet. One more breath. And let's come up. All right. Let's go all the way onto our backs, guys. Awesome work today. Let's finish up. We're gonna do a back bend. I'll give you some time to play. The time flies so fast. All right. So let's go heels close to touch, hands by your side, breathe. So we're actually going to do three back bends here. So for the first one, what I want you to do is I want you to take your right leg straight up to the sky, keep your left leg where it is. Now think about your right heel, push through your right heel and push yourself up into a one-legged bridge. Hold here. Now keep your bridge, drop the right foot down next to the left, find a normal bridge, breathe. Good. Take the left foot up high like the right was to start. Breathe. Now lower yourself down. Keep that foot high till you lower the tush down and then drop the left foot down next to the right. Windshield wipe with the knees left and right, left and right, left and right. All right, if you like that, you could absolutely do that one again. If you wanna go into wheel, I have a variation like that in the wheel. All right, when you're ready, bridge your wheel. Sarah's gonna go into wheel for us. So this time I want her to draw her right knee towards her right rib and extend the right leg straight up high. Loretta's doing it on her back. Good. Put that foot down. Let's try the left knee to left ridge. Then take it up to the high. Breathe. You guys are awesome. And then put it down and release down. Windshield wipe with the knees left and right, left and right, left and right. All right. So this last one, I'm not putting any restraints on the bridge or the wheel that you want to take. Whichever one feels good to you is the one I want you to take. All right. When you're ready, bridge or wheel. So whichever you're in, I want you to think about that arch getting grander, bigger, and then release down when you're ready. Breathe. That was nice. Windshield wipe of the knees, left and right, left and right, left and right. So one of the reasons I love having multiple um, students in these classes, at least two, is you'll see different great variations that work for you. Loretta, Sarah, and if I was practicing along, we're at different spots. So we're going to do different variations that serve our body. All right, you have about a minute to play with an inversion you want to play with. Headstand, handstand, forearm stand, shoulder stand, whichever one you want to take, take the one that you want to take. If you just want to do legs up the wall, whether you have a wall or not, you could do that. 
If there's a posture I did not do today that you were oh so looking forward to, sounds like a good time to do that. For those of you who don't know what you want to do and you don't want to do an inversion, I want you to go into pigeon on that right side. We're going to do about a 45 second on each side pigeon. So if you're already there, that's great. That's going to give you headstanders about two minutes in what you're playing with. Or hands or shoulder standers. So Loretta just wrapped a, uh, ramped up her shoulder stand by going into lotus legs. Sarah's just trying to find the calm in that headstand and just relax and breathe. If you're in that pigeon, start making your way over to the other side. You got about another 30 seconds in whatever you're in. If you're in shoulder stand and you want to play with plow, you can release the legs into plow when you're ready. Take three breaths there. If you're in that plow, I want you to go into deaf man's pose, bend the knees around the ears. If you're in headstand, start thinking about coming down. If you're in headstand or handstand, hit child's pose first. From, uh, from deaf man's pose, roll forward all the way onto the mat. From child's pose, meet us on the mat, on our backs. Let's release down and breathe. So coming onto your backs, I want you to have your hands up underneath your bum, lift your heart up, let your head roll back. Let's find fish pose, breathe. So as you lift the heart up, feel the sternum driving towards the sky, point your toes towards the front wall, and then I want you to pick your legs six inches off that mat. Breathe for four, for three. Big inhale through the nose, stick the tongue out the mouth. Ah, and release down. Hug the knees into the chest, rock gently side to side. Let's go ahead and take a happy baby. Actually, let's take half happy baby. Right hand grabs right foot. I want a half happy baby. Maybe you pull it with one hand, maybe you pull it with two. I don't care which. Good. Good. Let's switch sides. Good. And let's go into traditional happy baby, both feet. So as you pull the knees down, heave the heart up, but keep the shoulder blades down. Don't let your ribs splay away from each other. Think about length from the tailbone and the crown of the head. Two more breath. One more breath. Releasing out, finding fun or relaxation when you're ready. Shavasana. So sometimes in life, it is hard to find the positive in some things. And what I like is I've been seeing a lot of the social uh, media stuff, and I just did not follow it very much, but I've been following it more because I've had to stay in com communication with everyone, is people are tending to be very positive about things. And like I said, seeing uh, the mountains for the first time in 30 years in India, amazing. Pollution has come down. That's a positive. And if we can take some of these little things that have happened and say, hey, maybe I don't need to drive every time. Maybe I could walk to the store that's just around the corner. Maybe I could carpool a little bit more, ride my bike, do something to help the environment because the planet's kind of digging what's going on right now. So one of the worst times in my life was when I did get divorced. It was awful. And there was enough blame to go around between the two of us for why it didn't work. And it was really hard at that time to find a positive of what was going on. But I had positives. I have two amazing kids. I have a very supportive family. And when I started to come out of that dark period, this studio was born. So sometimes when it really gets your back up against the wall, you have to figure out what it is you want and how to move forward. And sometimes it's just a baby step. But remember, to go forward, the first motion to go forward is always a backward motion. If you're going to step forward, you're pushing back to step forward. If you were in a plane, the thrust is back to go forward. So don't be afraid to take a little step back to gather yourself and then move forward. So when you're in your practice next time, I want you to think about the posture that you really want, that you've been struggling to find. And here's what I want you to do. 
I want you to take it a little step back. I want you not to go into the fullest expression. I want you to find the next variation down from that fullest expression that you can find, and I want you to rock that. And I want you to do that until you have total control over that. And then I want you to try that full expression again, and I promise you, you'll be successful. Take that tiny step back to take a huge step forward. Let's start to bring some attention back to our fingers and our toes, giving them a wiggle. Pull the knees into the chest and give them a hug. Roll into your right side and then push to a seated position facing the front of the room. Hands come into prayer at heart center. So I want you to bring into your consciousness something that was positive that's been happening over the last two weeks or so. Maybe you're spending more time with your kids your spouse, your loved ones. Maybe you've connected with someone over the internet that you haven't seen in years. Maybe it's something simple like you're taking a walk more than you used to, getting outside. Be appreciative of that. Thumbs come to the third eye as we bow forward. Namaste. Everyone have a great day. We are here every day streaming. Sarah's streaming. Loretta's streaming. We got everyone streaming. So come and see us as much as you can or as much as you need. We love you all. We hope to see you again real soon at the studio.